Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing a slime review for Slime by Yareli, which you can find here on Instagram. And if you hadn't already, make sure to go and follow her and show her some love and support on her page. A little over a month ago, I posted my first slime review video featuring store-bought slimes brought to you by Play-Doh. And I asked you guys to comment down below some slime shop recommendations you'd like to see me review. And this was the first comment I got. I really like supporting small businesses such as my own. So this is really fun to give this shop a chance and review their slimes. All of the slimes were securely packaged in a bubble wrap. And all the slimes came with a generous amount of extras, which I really enjoyed. I'd like to point out the fact that two slimes came on one day and two slimes came on another day due to the packaging. I think there was an issue with that. The only issue was that it wasn't brought to my attention ahead of time. I kind of had to message her, but that was totally fine and things like that happened. So it was not a big deal and other than that, there were no other issues. Anyways, you guys have seen the unboxing. Now let's get into the slime review. First up, we have the slime called Gumball Machine, which is a cloud cream butter scented bubblicious. The scent of this slime was honestly so nostalgic to me. It smelled straight up like bubble gum, and it was just so nice to smell. This slime came with a cute purple ball that looked like a real gumball, and I'm not gonna lie, I did take a bite of it because I really did think it was gonna be bubble gum, but it wasn't, so yeah, that's embarrassing. The texture of the slime was a little wet at first, but it went away the more I played with it and mixed it. The feeling of the slime itself was very lightweight, and I really love that when it comes to butter slimes. Because most of the times they're heavy and dense, but this was super lightweight, which made for better sizzles. And the end texture was more of a sleigh-like texture, in my opinion, than a butter. But that's just me. It was also super stretchy and soft and it had a very pretty end color because of course purple is the ultimate color. Overall this slime was just definitely my favorite. Make sure you listen to these sizzles because they are so good girl. So the next slime is called Christmas Tree. It is a clear glue bingsu scented Fruity Pebbles and it comes with the cutest bingsu bead mix as well as cute Christmas tree glitters. This slime was a little underfilled and sort of melted at first and the more I played with it and inflated it, it got a tad tacky but that's okay because clear slimes usually do have that consistency to where it's tacky when it's inflated and played with a lot so that's understandable because it inflated a few ounces i think what may have happened was it may have been inflated when it was packaged which is why it was underfilled at first so i'd probably recommend making sure that your slimes are deflated before packaging them because i've had that happen where it becomes underfilled and customers aren't really getting the bang for their buck if you know what i mean one eternity later Even though it got tacky when it was inflated, I was able to go in with my borax activator and fix it. So there was not an issue with that any further. All in all, this slime has some really amazing bubble pops and crunches. And I really do love clear food things exactly for that reason. The next slime I'll be showing is Peppermint Mocha, which is a DIY and thick and glossy scented peppermint mocha, which is, smells exactly like what you would think it would smell like. 
The base felt like a school glue thicky and it was so glossy and I overall enjoyed the gloss and pokes that this slime gave off. I think the base was better off by itself but that's just my opinion. This slime was super cute and easy to assemble. I really liked the cute little charm that it came with and the sprinkles that really gave it a nice touch. Despite adding the clay into the slime, it did not make the beads fall out, even though it became super dense when mixed. The end result of this slime is like a dry, dense, holdable kind of slate texture, and I really enjoyed the stretches and bubble pops that it still gave off. This slime was perfectly activated, so it didn't need any activator at all whatsoever. Once everything was mixed and fluffed out, it inflated to double its size, which I really enjoyed. Last but not least, we have Avo Bath, which is a DIY Butterfizz scented Avo Bath. The scent of it is fruity yet floral like with like a zesty clean fresh overall feeling to it the diy piece for this slime did come a little misshapen because it was a little bit crushed i guess in shipping but that's totally not a problem because that type of stuff happens all the time so it's no big deal this came with a generous amount of avocado females as well as a cute little female charm which i thought gave it the cutest touch The texture of the base was grainy and similar to the chewed bubblegum texture that people used to make with packing peanuts. Especially when it inflated, it did become tacky, but it was nothing activator couldn't fix. The texture of this was super soft on my hands and I really did enjoy the relaxing feeling of it. The more I played with this slime, the more airy and fluffy it got, and I really enjoyed inflating it and deflating it. Overall, I really enjoyed this slime shop and all the concepts from all the slimes. For future reference, I do recommend investing in business cards just because it's another form of exposure for your shop. Just so that people who do buy from you get to share their experience to other people and just show off your business card and get the word out pretty much. And another thing would be to add name labels to the slimes just so that people know what slime they got just in case they don't have the receipt or forgot what the names of the slimes were. Other than that, everything was totally great. I loved my experience with your shop. It was super fun to be able to review another small business as I said earlier. Anyways, to everyone watching, thank you so much if you watched all the way through. I hope you enjoyed this review and gained a little bit of knowledge of what you can do for your business or for what you can do for your shop. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up comment some more slime shops i should try out thanks so much for watching i hope you have a great day or night bye munchkins